Hello boys and girls. What I'd like to share with you is an awesome resource that we're going to be utilizing a lot through our fifth grade year, especially during our virtual school time. The resource that I'd like to introduce you to is called Epic, and there's a few ways that you can get there. You can either do a Google search and type in Epic Books, and you'll see that it'll take you to that first result and you could click right here on student login or if you'd like to go directly to the website you could type in www.getepic.com and that will take you directly to the home screen on the epic website for your first visit what you'll do is you're going to want to put in our class code so if you click on class code up here this is where your class code will be entered. You won't see this Mr. Brady's class when you first come in, but you're gonna look and enter in our class code, which is BLI1231. So we're gonna enter that in over here, BLI1231, and we're gonna hit go. This website will be great for during your independent reading time because um, there's lots of different great books that you can get to very easily. So what you'll do is you'll scroll down and you will find your name. Now I created one for my dog Jackson who you guys will get to know a lot about. So I'll click on Jackson and it says time to read with Epic Free. Let's go. Now this screen here is what it will look like after you register your account. And what you're gonna to need to do when you register your account is enter in your email address and a password. So you'll be prompted to do that in order to create your Epic account. Once your account is created, you'll have this home screen, which will allow you to navigate through lots of different great books. Um, you'll be able to go through um, your library, um, there's also books that we have that go with our reading and writing workshop that are read alouds that we'll also be able to find on here. And some of the books and the features with this Epic program will actually read the book to you as well. So once again, this is just a helpful tutorial just to get you started with your Epic account. Um, don't forget that you'll need your email address, which you can use your school email address, your Ben Salem. Um, sd.org email and also you can enter in um, your password. Just keep in mind whenever you create a password for any of the resources that we use, try to use the same password because it will be much easier when signing in and out of things. And I'm just pulling up a quick Word document that will be available to us on our Google Classroom. So underneath ELA, let's see, where's our Epic account? Down at the bottom here, reading. Um, this is our class code, and then you'll be, ent you'll be prompted to create your account. When you create your password, I would stick with something like this, for example. So your capital um, for your first name, lowercase for your second name, and then your student ID. And I would write that down somewhere so you don't forget it maybe on a post-it note and attach it to your Chromebook. Thank you so much for listening.